this so brings us to our next movie. We were doing Mr. Peabody second, right? Yeah, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Uh, it's, which, if you listen to the last episode, we showed a little apprehensiveness. Apprehensivity? I don't know. I, we were apprehensive to this movie. <laughs> he used a word improperly. Got improperly. caught up. Yeah. Okay, let me read this. Yeah. Resurrected from the 1960s animated series Rocky and Bullwinkle, canine genius Mr. Peabody and young Sherman take a dizzy, dizzying ride through time. Mr. Peabody, you're a Nobel Prize winning scientist. A world-renowned explorer. You're sure you're capable of meeting all the challenges of raising a human boy? Given all that I've accomplished, how hard could it possibly be? Very well, then. This February, the world's smartest dog will face his greatest challenge. No matter how far away I might seem. Bye, Mr. Peabody! Fatherhood. Mr. Peabody, Sherman got into a fight today. If the girl's parents press charges, I will see to it Sherman is removed from your custody permanently. Who's coming to dinner? You'll see. <gasps> I have to tell you, Peabody, where my daughter is concerned, nothing is more important than... Hello. Sure, I'll take a survey. She hates me. Ugh. Make it work. But don't tell her about the way back. He calls it the way back. It's a time machine. Wow. Now that we've seen it, maybe we should go back. Nope. Sherman, Penny, why are you two dressed like ancient Greeks? I lost her in ancient Egypt. And I got engaged to King Tut. Then we ran out of gas. In ancient Troy. You used the way back. Yeah. She was into it. Oh, my. You've used time travel improperly. We must rewrite history in order to save the universe. Ancient Egypt. Careful, Sherman. It's a booby trap. Take... The wrong boat, man, will pay. Now it's your turn. The boat will also stay in the Oh, my. Run! Run! Heroes of Greece. Yeah. Someone left this for us. A present. Nice. It looks just like our horse. <laughs> I did not see that coming. But if you close your eyes, does it Seems we've ripped a hole in the space-time continuum. Looks like the past is coming to us. King Tut. Penny! <laughs> what? DreamWorks, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Mr. Peabody! Hang on, Sherman! <laughs> well, Sherman, it looks like we were the butt of that joke. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, um... It was, it was a pretty mature um, PG movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, like, I, are you really familiar with Mr. Piggy Buddy? I was, I, like, that very first scene, when they first went back in time, I was like, dude, because, you know, they threw in the memorable quotes and shit, like, yeah. it's not where, when. I was like, dude, I totally remember watching this shit on Rocky and Bullwinkle now. Okay, because, like, I vaguely remember them from all that stuff. I don't remember if it was as educational as this but it was still educational back then. Oh, no, no, of course. Uh, most of the programming back then veered towards educational. Um, yeah. The adults that were kids back then don't too much show that they were trying to make you guys intellectual. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> uh, so this movie... Uh, would, I'm sorry, guys. Having, <laughs> yeah, I tried to like walk around that, but then I didn't know how, so it kind of threw me oh, off. Man. It's like, what was I going to say? Uh, so, Stone uh, shade. Yeah. So, I, I wasn't too familiar with this franchise, yeah. other than, like, I knew of its existence, and I've... So, this is kind of a first impression yeah, for Yeah, I've watched in passing, like, I in the movie, uh, Mr. Peabody is the adopted father of yeah. Sherman, I didn't and Mr. know... And Mr. Peabody is the dog. Like, yeah. does it say that? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Peabody yeah. is played, uh, and Mr. Peabody, you'll recognize his voice if you watch Modern Family, he's Ty Burrow, he's, like, the, the I main don't watch, father. I've from, seen it, but... I don't have cable, so there's been plenty of times no where Al I Bundy's have... in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, that, Mo- and Sophia Vergara, I'm yeah. in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> Modern Family is one of those shows where I was, I, I didn't, I was always like avoiding that show. And then because I don't have cable, it's on every channel. Yeah. So I've watched it enough to where it's like, it's not a bad show. No, it's one of those shows where I enjoy watching it, but I'm never like, you know what? I want to watch Modern Family. Exactly. It's usually on before I have to go to work. So it's uh, just like, well. I can't watch anything. Get a good laugh in for Yeah, work. that I can enjoy. Yeah. 
So, and it seems pretty down to earth and relatable. Yeah. Okay, so enough about uh, Modern Family. <laughs> yeah. This wasn't a bad movie. We usually yeah. do that with tangents, but. Yeah. Um, so, basically, Mr. Peabody is a genius dog who genius basically dog, invented yeah. everything from fucking. Yeah, I, I wanted to make a list of that. Oh, man, he did literally everything. Yeah, yeah. He invented, he, like, what was the Azuba? He yeah, the Azuba, Azuba was the last one he said he did. Um, yeah. Oh, I don't know. It, he, pretty much every he, modern convenience you could think of right he now. He invented, and he's, um... Which, I wanted to know, how old was he in this movie? Because he went from not being adopted as a puppy, but he was always reading physics books and stuff, to yeah, just yeah. basically being self, um... Self, self-taught? Re- yeah, self-taught, and just, I guess he had got himself out of there. Yeah, know. yeah, uh, but I guess we're looking too deep into yeah. a children's movie. But eventually he gets out and adopts Sherman. Yeah, <laughs> because which I even wrote that down when he's in court trying oh. to get Sherman, and the judge is like, "If a, I wrote it down, if a boy can adopt a dog, why can't a dog? Why can a dog not adopt a boy?" And, that, and that's coming from Allstate man, because I believe that was Allstate man's voice. So it was, it was definitely that, that, a black that, was, that was a great line. I was like, "Dude, that, it was so great." I wrote it down. I was like, "No yeah. way." Um, so, uh, Mr. Peabody and Sherman invent a Wayback Machine, which is a time machine. Yes. And... Time machine calls Wayback. And they... Which we'll get to later, because maybe it doesn't always go way back. <laughs> <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> okay, but back to this. Um, so basically, they fuck around with time. Like, Mr. Peabody is the worst doctor... Yeah, they don't do. They have no inclination to not touch things in the past. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, that's what they was like. like. Basically, the he was like, let's just say the Leaning Tower of Pisa wasn't always leaning. Yes, yeah, so they have that type of so, effect. So you things. go back to to them like influencing Albert Einstein. Yeah, uh, he's good friends with um, Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. You see that like. And Mr. Peabody has seen episodes of Doctor Who and he's like, fuck those rules. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen much Doctor yeah. Who, but I'm aware of it. This is basically Mr. Peabody and Sherman is a, a Doctor Who Inspector Space Time yeah. hybrid. Um, so you see, like they go first they place ca- they go that they show was Marie Antoinette, yeah, in the French Revolution, which apparently they caused her to say that <laughs> let them eat cake line. Yeah. And they just as she loves cake, and they just ask like, "Can I get cake?" She's like, "Yeah, let them have cake." Yeah, and then there's just, like people, poor people in the back, and they had the funny thing of just like. Sherman's asking Mr. Peabody, like, why do they why do they want to kill her? And it's like, well, because she has all the cake. And then they switch to the poor people who are all, like, dying on the yeah. curb. And they're like, they have no food. They revolt. And... Yeah. And so they basically cause the revolution. And they... And Peabody, Mr. Peabody gets caught. And, and he actually gets him. put in the guillotine. The gu- yeah, which is one of those scenes where it's just like, man... He some, is so dope. Some, some kids are going to have to have their parents explain, explain to them. What ha- what really happens yeah, in that guillotine. Why, why are they going to try and behead? He did put the cantaloupe there. Well, yeah, we're kind of skipping. But he put the cantaloupe there to when he made his escape, and that gets cut in half. Yeah. So I guess, like, kids use two plus two, man. You know if his head was there, and that guillotine did that to the cantaloupe. Yeah. You know what happened, but... It is something that was more mature, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Who was the, who's the leader of the revolution? I, I'm terrible at the French Revolution. Yeah, French stuff. Revolution wasn't my thing. But he uh, ends up, like, outsmarting the French. <laughs> With some stupid, like... His escape was ridiculous. It was, was absolutely... Like, he used the sewer system. <laughs> he used the glare ways. off of Sherman's glasses. And it was one of the, like... Uh, it's, like, one of the smaller lines is, I. Uh, Sherman falls into a puddle of water. He's like, oh, I fell into the water. And Mr. Peabody's like, that's not water. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> they were in the sewer. <laughs> yeah. Because I was already, when he fell, like, ew. And then when he was like, no, that's not water. I was like, yeah. ew. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so then the leader of the French Revolution, getting a little more detail, the leader of the French Revolution apparently hates cantaloupes. He, that's yeah, what he calls yeah. them. Who left a cantaloupe here? <laughs> He's like, the worst of all fruits. <laughs> That's a, that's a very good point. <laughs> yeah, so then he leaves, like, when they catch them in the sewer, and he, he escapes again by, like, tricking him into throwing his sword to catch the other half of the cantaloupe. And he's like, another cantaloupe! <laughs> you <laughs> really enjoyed so this movie. Hard. It was so funny. Yeah. I was dying laughing, like, bro, why? Um. So, so, so they finally escape. escape. Long story short, it's really epic. It's actually really 
well paced out action yeah, scene for an animated kids movie. Nice, very good opening. It was kind of yeah. um, Chicken Little-ish, except without the music. Yeah. It's, it's, was Chicken it, Little DreamWorks? It was. Yeah, yeah, wow, was good job, yeah. DreamWorks. DreamWorks is pretty good. They seem to be like every other movie of theirs is good. I great, think before this great. was The Groods. Which no, just came and went, the caveman I saw that, one. But I didn't. Yeah, no, as I I'm just, saying, that every was. Every time I saw a poster for that, I read it as the Gronks. It, it, it was like, it, okay, yeah, that's cool. It was like, it was uh, How to Train Your Dragon, when. I've Gro- never seen that. It's pretty good. It's on Netflix, too. Yeah. Hopefully, we get it. The Groods, the Fail, Groods. Peabody and Sherman. It's another DreamWorks movie. Yeah. And then Kung Fu Panda 3, and you're like, fuck you, DreamWorks. Stop making Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, Kung Fu Panda. Okay, okay. I didn't even attempt to see that. Back to the movie. We're doing the Chanjit thing, even yeah. though we like this movie. Yeah. Um. Um. So, yeah. They, so then they go back, and as usual, he asks Mr. Peabody, like, so where are we going tomorrow? He's, he's like, like, you have your own adventure. Your first day of school. Yeah. And mm, yeah. Uh, that's where he's, uh, he's a little worried, because Sherman seems a little slow. Sermon seems slow, but you find out this motherfucker is yeah. the smartest shit. He just, <laughs> he just seems slow because the dog's a genius. Yeah. And so, that the dog being so, like, smart, yeah. he's basically being shown up yeah. every day by a dog. Yeah, so, uh, Sherman, um, is in class, answers a couple questions about George Washington, and... Sets them straight, because he's seen, he's met George yeah, Washington. Yeah, he, he's hung out with George Washington, and... And fallen he, into the little, the bridge or the river. Or he whatever. outshines, uh, Penny, who's the genius of the school, yeah. and she gets really pissed. Also, I just want to say, like, Penny's a really good name for a girl, and I don't feel like enough people are named Penny anymore. That's a nice name. So if you're named Penny, but good usually for you. Pennies are, like, cartoon characters. I, girls. I'm just saying, like, more no, it people is a nice should be name, named Penny. But, like, yeah. why is it just usually cartoon characters? Yeah, it's girls? like, bring Penny back. Yeah. Bring that name back. Penny, be proud of the Penny name. Yeah, if you're See named Penny, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> if you're Penny, like, I, I keep you know what? living, I, I guess. I might name my daughter Penny. There you go. This is where it comes from, daughter Penny, if you ever come back and listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> you can blame me. Yep. Okay, so then he Just goes like, to school. Just uh, like Josh has to name his first kid Barrel Jenkins. Really? <laughs> I, I have a bet. I told him if he names his firstborn Barrel Jenkins, boy or girl, I'll pay for their college education. <laughs> You're just gonna get fucked by that because he will do it. Yeah. He will do it. Oh, I'm fucked, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if he names his firstborn Barrel Jenkins, this is a bet from high school. He probably doesn't even remember it. He's gonna remember now. <laughs> okay, so, um. Just like I have a bet with him if he keeps eating the way he is, if he gets fat by 35. <laughs> That's coming from. <laughs> uh, they were really stupid high school bets that he's probably forgotten, but for some reason I remember. You're gonna be like, "Hey, you got a year, bro, to lose yeah. that weight." <laughs> Just say, "Hey, man, my oh metabolism." My it was back when he would eat like two double like bacon cheeseburgers from Wendy's type of shit. Like after he'd play basketball and you'd like kill pizzas. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just buy a full pizza from for Little Caesar <laughs> after hooping for like yeah. three hours. Or going to Wendy's and buying triple bacon burgers. <sighs> yep. Like, I would buy, like, a double, and then he would buy the triple, and I'd just be like, dude. You don't need it. Can you get a triple, like, Baconator? Yeah. What? You can just ask him. What you do is you get a triple cheeseburger, and then you add bacon to it. Yeah, yeah, valid. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. No lettuce, none of them vegetables. Fuck out of here with that. Okay, okay. (laughs) That was was another tangent. Yeah, so then, Um, um, So then... He gets bullied at school by Penny because of that. I I, I noticed this. I don't know why it it... It didn't bother me, but I thought I wrote my notes. We see Sir Sherman in his lunchroom mm-hmm. and my note is yay yeah, diverse friends <laughs> <laughs> bro <laughs> I thought that too I was just like okay so Sherman instantly came in and got cool with like the other nerd and the nerdy fucking yeah, wheelchair he, kid the nerds but I also feel like that was the movie studio just being like he should really have a dark friend and a handicap yeah <laughs> He a nerdy like, black guy because he couldn't be a typical black guy. No, no, I cliche, think he, well, was unquote. he black or Indian? Because like they did different angles Ooh, and he looked. Yeah. You, you notice this with the Egyptians where their color kind of changed based yeah. on the look, the angle. When they first showed the Egyptians, they actually looked fairly dark skinned But then as they got more screen time, they looked a little lighter. And that was with the. the I thought he was Indian because like when you first saw him, I was like, oh, he's got a black friend and a wheelchair friend. But I felt like I kind of felt like black people or somebody that's fairly cool with diversity made this movie because <laughs> there was a yeah, lot of yeah. things in it where i was like you won't see that in a typical movie yeah but either way i still laughed and it was like ah diverse friends yeah no i, I yeah. laughed at that too definitely yeah. um and then uh, penny puts him in a headlock penny puts him in a headlock and calls him a dog yeah and dude. then sherman bites her 
Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that's what he did. Yeah. Because they didn't show it, did they? They just tell no. you in the, in the principal's office. Yeah, when... uh, I was hoping he punched her in the face, to be yeah. real. Not domestic violence, but if you saw the headlock, bro. Like, anybody she that touches you like that... Yeah, she was being a bitch. And, yeah, and attacks you verbally and physically like that. It's like when you see those videos. I think we talked about World Star. One yes, time. World Star. <laughs> of, like... That should be, like, a say. Let's do a World Star, like, this podcast. <laughs> but we still have ideas for World Star with Chris. Well, do we? Uh, I we'll talk, talk about, about that, that later. later. Yeah, that, that's yeah. some off stuff. Um, but it's just this uh, thing where you see those videos where it's like the woman's bullying the guy, punching the dude, and then the dude just turns around and hits the girl. And it's like, don't hit girls. Oh, yeah, but then dude, you when have he comes that, through that like doorway. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those scenes where it's just like one of those scenes where it's like, don't hit women. But then she was really bullying him and getting physical with Sherman. Yeah. So Sherman bitter and it was just like well like and you could say it could be a man all they want once you get that little annoyance itch in the back from somebody constantly punching you when <laughs> she's like got him in a headlock so i felt he like was it was definitely a it, big, i mean a big old professional headlock yeah so i felt like he was justified in defending himself after but it's she one of those slapped his just, motherfucking sandwich across the room and made yeah. him go pick it up like Which a quote like, unquote dog if you would have bit her for that then it'd be like dude you can't do that to a girl and my reaction but, was when she slapped his sandwich i was like Right then and there. I'd have been like, you're going to get the fuck out of my face and go pick that sandwich up yourself. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, like, when then she got physical and had him in a headlock and is, like, choking him out, it's just, like, he bit her and that should have been done with it. They should yeah. have just told both kids. Like, yeah, I don't understand why he got in trouble. Like, yeah. nothing came back to pain. Yeah, basically Sherman got in trouble for biting her and then child services were called because they're mad that a dog. Yeah. Is a it? kid raised by a dog is biting people. Yeah, so and the lady is the the lady running the case is your typical like yeah. cliche feminist. I'm gonna just attack everything, <laughs> lady. Like they went there with her. Yeah. <laughs> went there with her. So then um, Sherman to fix the situation invites Penny and her parents over. Yeah. Um, doesn't tell Sherman, but makes them play in the room together yeah. while he tries to finesse the um, parents. Yeah, he, he's basically seducing both of them. Yeah. Like, it's, not seducing, seducing, <laughs> but more like he's winning them over with his talents. Yeah, and dude, Sherman is, I mean, P- Mr. Peabody That is musical dope, theme dude. where they just, he, dude kept naming <laughs> he weapons. He dudes back and yeah. shit, and then all of a sudden they just bomb him. Yeah. <laughs> just like, no way, man. Yeah. Um, uh, and meanwhile, uh, Penny finds out about the Wayback Machine, yeah. and then jumps to ancient Egypt, and then Sherman goes to Mr. Peabody's. Like, he comes back without her. He's like, I need help getting P- uh, Penny back. Because Penny has gotten engaged to, to King, King Tut. Tut. Uh, and this is the thing you were saying, like, at first they were, like, darker. They were dark. Like, when and they then, showed the yeah. flashback, they show Jackie. They show him catch a Jackie Robinson yeah. ball. Oh, they show, I, like, him chilling in Egypt, and you see, like, dark-skinned black people. Um, then he goes to Egypt with King Tut and them, and... You know, yeah. just, like, no offense, Michael B. Jordan. We know you're black, bro, and I love you. But it kind of brought the tone down to that. <laughs> and it was just yeah. like, why'd you change them? Yeah, yeah. Throughout the, like, in the it's movie. Like, was it cloudy in the first scene? <laughs> yeah, which I guess it was a picture they were showing us, a moving picture, like, memory. Yeah. But No, but even when you first see them. I thought that. I even took when, a note and yeah. then erased it, because I was like, maybe they aren't black Egyptians. <laughs> yeah, but, well, like, when they, when uh, when Sherman first meets them, they seem darker, and yeah. then when Mr. Peabody and Sherman come back, they seemed a little bit lighter. Yeah. I don't know, maybe we were just stupid, and we, we no, only saw that. Because, you know, in those but you animated noticed, movies, yeah. they do the lighting, and they yeah. actually have real lighting and yeah. shit. Yeah, so. so it could have been something like that. Yeah. I forgot to mention that there was, like, a, a really touching scene that didn't make me want to cry of the beautiful boy montage. Oh, yeah, when, yeah. when Mr. Peabody realizes he may lose Sherman and yeah, he looks yeah, at yeah. all the flashbacks. Yeah, there's a really nice montage. It didn't make me want to cry. Mm-hmm. Um, and the fact that, uh, what's his name, Sherman was like, love you, Mr. Peabody, and Mr. Peabody was like, I have a deep regard for you as well. It yeah. was like, oh, this is a weird relationship. Yeah, yeah. Kinda. Um, so, so um, <laughs> before we go even further, when he's taking them to school, <laughs> he explains that He's like, use a number two pencil, but there are times when number one is necessary. And I was like, when the fuck is number one? I've never seen a number one pencil. Me either. And I thought it would pop up in the movie. It did not. (laughs) Okay. Maybe it's a drafting pencil or some shit, or is that like a number three? I don't know. That was like blue ones. If you know what a number one pencil is, because we're not going to Google it, please tweet us at EME Podcast. Yep. (laughs) I'll listen to that, but I'm not going to Google it. Um, So, so, uh, Mr. Peabody and Sherman... I found it kind of interesting. They couldn't outsmart the Egyptians at first. 
the way they were able to outsmart the uh, the French. Like uh, Sherman was just able to like You're get right. away from the French instantly, but the Egyptians yeah, he, they he were just, made them look stupid. But then the Egyptians were honest, like, they weren't fucking around because they were strong. Like, they, they were they, strong. They were smart. <laughs> yeah, they weren't falling for any shit, so they had to think of a weird. Their way only to... weakness was the gods. <laughs> <laughs> Which it's is so an, funny. It's an adult ass thing yeah. to be like. What was their downfall? Was their <laughs> belief in God? Uh, so oh, Sherman man. and Peabody do this thing with uh, one of the with Anubis. Yeah, with Anubis They're blowing fire out of the giant statue's mouth and yeah. using a makeshift me- mega horn. And, yeah. and the, the conversation they have is so funny. He's like, they're like, uh, you can't. We don't want her anymore. The yeah. guys do not demand her. We demand you let her go. Like, well, we've already paid for the wedding. He's like, you will lose your deposit. <laughs> They're all like, no. <laughs> yeah. So funny, man. Um, so, so they so they get they get away. Yep, they get away. They, they get away, and then they end up in Roman times. Like the, the way back the, machine um, runs out of power yeah, because Penny and Sherman weren't supposed to be using it, so yeah. it wasn't fueled up. They get stuck in Leonardo du- in the the Renaissance. Yeah, the Renaissance. But then they end up in they go th- uh, after he helps them get back out. Oh yeah, they help them get back out because we're gonna have to skip over that because uh, time. Yeah, it was nothing really big. Um, yeah, there. they they use the flying machine. Um, so then they end up in Roman times, and then Sherman. I, I forget where they ended up after that. I think they end up the Trojan War. Yeah, that's when they end up at the Trojan yeah. War. They end up at the, the Trojan War, and I, I didn't really understand, but Sherman rebelled against Mr. Peabody. Because Mr. Peabody, he wanted to show him that he's not useless. Mr. Peabody told him he couldn't fly, and he started flying poorly after he had been dominating. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so then Mr. Peabody called him. He was like, I'm not a dog. And Mr. Peabody was like, no, you're not. You're just a very bad boy. And he took that real personal and just yeah. rebelled yeah, by and then, joining the Trojan army during yeah. the trojan war yeah and with the trojan horse yeah which I, which was his fuck i know his name he was, it, it was gronk from emperor's new groove yes but it is um he's also in uh, of the tech. obviously faint no not the real dude the trojan war yeah. oh okay yeah no, it, i'm not too sure yeah it wasn't achilles they mentioned achilles um so they basically get into a battle and sherman's just like yeah let's go kill some people yeah Right around a sword, and this ends up leading to Mr. Peabody's death. Yeah, which... Which I wasn't expecting. <laughs> every, yeah, Mr. Peabody has to, like, sacrifice himself to save them, and then so Penny and Sherman come back to the time... They weren't supposed to go back to a time in which they existed, because... Yeah, it would cause time, a space time yeah. yeah. And so, um, when he's explaining to Mr. Peabody, like, you died, Mr. Peabody was like, I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> And, and he's like, that's debatable or something. Yeah, yeah. Then they mention it to somebody else, and that person was like, I couldn't see that. Oh, yeah, no, the Sherman. The, Sherman, the, 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 that time, Sherman came back. Yeah. He's like, we weren't supposed to do that. And he's like, but Mr. Peabody died. And he's like, that's I, debatable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then Mr. Peabody comes back anyway, and he's like, I didn't die. And everybody's like, see? <laughs> I told you. Yeah. And yeah, so if they touch each other, if they touch their copy of themselves, Time space continuum tear. Uh, yeah, there's a rip in the time. Yeah, fat, fat. Like I'm taking your kid, lady. Grabs both Shermans because who would? I mean, she was ridiculous, but she grabs both to take them away, which you can't even do that. I'm pretty sure you got to go through some process. Yeah, first. yeah, she was a real bitch. Yeah, and uh, so should they touch and time space continuum breaks, but then they. Basically, it opens a wormhole, and everyone they've ever made contact with gets sent in there. So, like yeah. Einstein and like Leonardo, all of the Trojan. Yeah. Man, fuck the Trojan one. I know his name. It's... Yeah. Whatever. Uh, I don't yeah. care. <laughs> it's a good answer. Yeah. Uh, they, they all come down, and they basically wreak havoc in Times in New that, York Times yeah. Square, and they're about to arrest them because <laughs> laws. This is. <laughs> My favorite thing is right when they're... Dude, they do the fucked up thing. They put the, the collar on Sherman. Oh, yeah. And they throw him in the animal control thing. Yeah. And then they're like, what's going to happen? This movie and, got dark at times. And they're like, what's going to happen to him? And then the uh, the social worker turns around and is like, you know what happens to dogs that bite people? Yep. He they're going to fucking down. put him down in this kid's movie. Yep. Which is another thing a parent's going to have to explain to a child. Yep. But um, it's, then basically, they have a Spartacus moment, which is fucking hilarious. Because uh, if you ever seen Spartacus, I've seen Spartacus, but I I need to. Where you know. uh, at the end they're trying to find the the I think it's like the bad guys in Spartacus are trying to find Spartacus, okay. and they're like Spartacus stand up, and then everyone in the crowd oh, yeah, says I, I am Spartacus yeah, stands yeah, yeah, up, yeah. and the best part of it everyone's like 
I'm Mr. Peabody. I'm Mr. Peabody. Yeah, no, I'm a dog. I'm, I'm a, a dog, dog too, because Sherman gives and a then speech. Fucking actual Spartacus comes forward and is like, I am Spartacus. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. I didn't even notice that then. Yeah. I just, like noticed it and I was just like, okay, this goofball. Yeah. I was just like, fuck yeah. That was such a nice payoff for adults. So good, yeah. Okay, and um, So basically, they give it a Spartacus ending and then. Yeah, basically, what how they got pardoned was. um. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, and Bill Clinton give him a pardon. A presidential pardon, which <laughs> Man, I didn't think would be... Uh... It was so funny, though, because, like, Bill... What's his name? Um, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln were like, we give him presidential pardons, and then George Cl- or Bill, Bill Clinton, Clinton comes out, like, I've done worse. I've done worse. <laughs> <laughs> which is just like, what kid would know who the fuck yeah, Bill Clinton is? Dude, this movie wasn't for kids. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was well, I mean, meant to based, entertain it's kids. It's based off a 1960s animated series, so you it's show just this like... to your kids now, so when they grow up, they still appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so basically it's a Spartacus ending uh, it's pretty much a happy ending mm-hmm. like uh, Mr. Peabody they fly fixes away. everything yeah because they fix it because Sherman says well okay we can't go back in time but can we jump forward through time basically sucking it back into itself and eliminating the wormhole it worked yeah, it worked it, he's classified as a genius now so Sherman and Mr. Peabody are both geniuses yeah and the movie happy over ending. Um, so Netflix thought this would be a three and a half for me um my score is going to be a four. Netflix gave I it a three. Really, really like this. I give it a four too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're we're lining up too much. Yeah. Actually, last night I said I'd give it a four and a half, but yeah, I I, I give it a four and a half. I, I didn't want to give it a four and a half because I know there are better movies. On there Netflix are better movies, but I, are I there wanna... better animated movies per se? We'll, we will find out. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. That's the whole goal. Um. So just to we'll just move on forward. It's funny yep. before this episode. We we're like, man, this is gonna be a short episode. Yeah, and I mean, it was that tangent. It was that damn tangent. Yeah, we, had, <laughs> we Which tried. We, we had guys. a couple tangents. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry we, we guys. Tried. And we actually enjoyed the movies more than we thought we were, yeah. especially after talking about them. Now, like, it's I actually, probably the best week we've had. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah the other ones, yeah. Because yeah. the other ones either had one good movie and then two bad movies, or, or something yeah, like something like that. Some variety of. But these bad. are um, all three <laughs> movies were really well made movies and yep. entertaining.